Hey y'all, welcome to B's Intuition. I'm B, and I'm here to do a message for the sign of Virgo. Thank you all for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I do cuss and I do tell the truth, so if you don't like either one of the two, then you probably should move on. I've already prayed over the cards and the energy, so we're just going to hop right on in and see what spirit has for the sign of Virgo. Hope you guys are having a blessed, awesome day. Hope you guys are staying warm and healthy. So here we go. Spirit, allow me to be the channel. What's the message? Mm. Shine bright like a candle. You will make it through this. So I feel as though somebody tried to put your 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 light out. Somebody tried to, you know. <clears throat> take you through a whole lot of things that you probably didn't sign up for um i feel as though whoever this is they created some type of illusions to make you think that you know they were for you um just so that they could steal your shine but spirit is saying that you will make it through this yeah keeping up so yeah, this is immense effort and this is advanced. So yeah, there's someone that, uh, you know, did everything they could do to try to stop you from shining, pretty much. They created a lot of illusions. They probably told a lot of lies on you. Um, they had other people going against you. But I feel like that divine timing is at play um, with whatever the situation is. And I feel as though because divine timing is at play you definitely will make it through this what else spirit yeah manage to be glad create your own happiness regardless of the conditions yep yep mm -hmm. yeah and then at the bottom of the deck wake up it's your moment So I feel as though um, because someone did try to, you know, steal your shine, basically take your, you know, take your light and they, and they, you know, did it with immense effort. They were trying to advance. I feel like, you know, to a certain extent, they were trying to be you. But, you know, with this managed to be glad card, regardless of what's going on around you. Uh, you're you're going to make it through this. You're going to be able to create your own happiness regardless of the conditions that you're in. Because, wake up. It's your moment. Alright, Virgo. Spirit, why is shine bright like a candle here? Yeah, we have cross. So yeah, someone definitely did try to, you know, um, make something hard for you to bear. Some, someone definitely did try to make it hard for you to, you know, continue to push forward. And I feel that because it was whoever this was, I feel like you were close to this person or these people. And I feel like that you really couldn't believe that these people would, you know, do these things to you to try to make your life harder than it already was. And they did a lot of it by creating illusions. Like I said, you know, they probably told you one thing in your face and did the opposite behind your back. This is someone that, you know, wasn't loyal to you. Um, you know, wasn't truthful to you, didn't have your best interest at heart. Keeping up, why is this here, spirit?
we have woman so um this could be your energy or it could be whoever this is in your energy virgo but whoever this feminine energy is um yeah they were trying to steal your shine again i feel like that you know they were just trying to be you whoever this feminine energy is it, they took immense effort to try to advance um in basically 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 burning you down to the point to where you lose everything your mind your spirituality you know your stability your job for a lot of you your creativity um yeah and basically they wanted to stop you so that they could advance in their life but i feel as though you know when it comes to whoever this is um time is up for this person yeah, time is up for this person. I feel as though this person thought that, you know, they were, you know, interfering with, um, I'm not going to say interfering, but I feel like this, whoever this, this feminine energy is, they felt like that, you know, time was on their side, but they have no idea. Manage to be glad. Why is this here, spirit? Anchor. Yeah. Whoever this is, yeah. They thought that time was on their side and that they can continue to, you know, be attached to you, your energy, um, your space, your emotions. Um, but whatever this is, spirit is saying that you need to create your happiness, your own happiness, regardless of, you know, the conditions that you're in. Um, and I feel like that whoever this person is that's in your energy that could possibly be going through a dry spell and I feel like that they felt like that they were uh, that time was you know passing by <clears throat> and they needed to figure out you know how else they could you know continue to keep you stuck from moving forward hmm. spirit wise cross here one please ah this is my third party card so this could be someone that is outside that is attached to someone that is in your energy so this is a third party situation that is basically you know trying to cause you burdens yeah and then we have the Emperor and Divine Masculine at the bottom of the deck. So, yeah. So, your Divine Masculine, this person could be, you know, in your Divine Masculine's energy. But, yeah. They were trying to cause burdens in your life so that they can try to steal your shine. Whoever this third party energy is. Why is the woman here, Spirit? Mm. a woman here please thank you so yeah so this is my milking you and using you card so yeah so this you know this I don't feel like this is your energy I feel like this is someone else's energy that is not attached to you but attached to you if that makes sense but whoever this is um 
they could have been using you through your divine masculine so it could have been you know for your energy um you know for your time uh yeah for your creativity um for your spiritual power just whatever um because i mean you know if you allow your divine masculine to be in your energy of course you're giving your energy to him and if you're in a third party situation because of him of course he's giving your energy to this person why is anchor here spirit yeah freedom freedom so i mean you just want to be free from from whoever this person is pretty much cross and no why I shine bright like a candle here spirit mm -hmm. six of wands yeah because you already were you know victorious and successful and so this person whoever this person is you know they they want to cause burdens and stress you know they want to make it hard for you to you know continue to push forward and so Continue to allow your sh your light to shine bright. Continue to allow your candle to shine because whoever this person is, um, they don't have the light that you have. They don't have the candle that you carry, and so and they couldn't and they wouldn't be able to carry it anyway. And who and this is a third party situation. Spirit cross and nest, please. Yeah, Ace of Cups. So this is about, you know, probably your Divine Masculine that was involved with a third party situation. Um, and your Masculine, your Divine Masculine probably wants to have success and victory with you. So this third party wants, you know, a new beginning in love with your person. So whoever this, per thir this feminine energy is, they're causing, trying to cause, you know, chaos, havoc, and pandemonium for you and could possibly be your person. Um, yeah. Keeping up, why is this here? Yeah, but you're going to, as long as you allow your, your candle to keep shining bright, you're going to get success and victory with a new in, uh, with a new beginning in love. Yeah, nine of pentacles. Mm -hmm. Yep. Whoever this feminine energy is, they were immensely trying to stop you from being in the nine of pentacles energy. They were trying to stop you from being this independent, beautiful, spiritual being, you know, that takes care of the kids, that, you know, do everything that, you know they're supposed to do and I feel like this person actually was trying to milk you of your energy woman in milk please mm -hmm. ace of wands yep and I feel as though again that whoever this is they basically they wanted to be you But I feel as though, you know, divine timing is at play. And regardless, um, whether this person, you know, wanted to be you and be independent and, you know, have a new beginning and things of that nature. Well, they're still toxic and they're still codependent because they're trying to hold on to you. We have anchor right here. So they're trying to hold on to you and you. And I don't feel like that this is your person or your energy. I feel like it's someone that's in your person's energy. Manage to be glad. Mm. Too many spirit. Manage to be glad. King of Pentacles. So yeah. 
earth sign Capricorn Taurus Virgo so this could be you know your person this could be your divine masculine um, and you know either he's married or you know he's just you know well off he has a lot of you know things because you know he's financially stable but I feel as though that's who wants to be free. I feel like that you want to be free from this third party situation and he wants to be free from this third party situation. And regardless of what's going on, you're going to make it through this and you're going to create your own happiness regardless of whatever this person is trying to do, Virgo. But this person, you know, I feel as though their time is up from holding on to you and to your person because you and your person are getting ready to be free and you guys are going to have a new beginning you know in love a new beginning period and I feel like that whoever this feminine energy is she's really trying to milk this king of pentacles for whatever he has because she is not in the nine of pentacles energy she's not uh, you know an independent lady or man they're not um, you know spiritual they're not the things that you are and I feel as though if they milk, well, they feel like if they milk the masculine energy, that that is milking you, if that makes any sense. Anchor and flag. Yep, Queen of Pentacles. Mm-hmm, yep. So, yeah, they could be married or it could have been just in a high committed relationship. But I feel as though um, this is the person that is holding on to your energy and your person's energy. And you two together are trying to free yourselves from this Queen of Pentacles to go towards your new beginning. Nest and Ace of Cups. I'm sorry. Six of Wands and this. Just one, please, Spirit. Mm. So we have three of Wands. So when it comes to you having success and victory, um, whoever this third party is, they have been, you know, trying to cause stress on you and your person for a very long time and I feel like that you've waited for a new beginning in love with your person for a very long time ace of cups and three of wands mm -hmm. yep you waited a long time to, you know, have a new beginning in love with your person, with your divine masculine or your divine feminine. And whoever this third party is, all they wanted to do was try to compete with you, cause conflict, cause fights between, you know, you and your person, between them and your person, between you and them. Take it how it resonates. Nine of Pentacles and Milk. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles and Milk. Strength. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But you stood strong, regardless of the conflict, regardless if you were being drained because this person was in your, your person's energy. You remain strong because this person was trying to strong arm a situation. They were trying to strong arm your strength is what I feel. Yeah, they were trying to make you like you were weak. And I feel as though because you didn't respond to the conflict, the competition, the fighting. So they probably just fought a lot with your person. But I feel like you were at a distance from these people. And so, you know, they were trying to get you to you know, respond to the conflict, the competition, the competing and all that. But you didn't because you were focused on your new beginning. You were focused on, you know, your independence and, you know, taking care of your kids and, and your animals and, you know, talking to the birds and the trees and doing everything that you do. 
You wasn't worried about that. Freedom and Ace of Wands. Mm -hmm. Queen of Swords in the reverse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so <clears throat> when it comes to you and your person trying to free yourselves from, you know, and have a new beginning, but free yourselves from whoever this third party is, this Queen of Pentacles, I feel as though... Um, Because you were so strong and because this uh, third party person, um, you know, really couldn't come against you. I felt like I feel like that they try to lie on you. They try to, you know, um, speak negatively about you. I feel like that, you know, they were saying that you didn't have any standards, you know. Um, you know, I feel like they just were saying that you were all over the place. But I feel like when it comes, because you were so strong and because you were focused on your new beginning and, you know, you being in the Nine of Pentacles energy, you kind of put your sword down when it came to, you know, this Queen of Pentacles. Because I feel like that you just knew that um, it wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth arguing with this person. It wasn't worth losing, you know, your, your losing who you are because of this person. Anchor, King of Pentacles. Hold on, it fell on the floor. Mm -hmm. We're going to put it back because I don't know if it was upright or in the reverse. I really don't. Anchor, King of Pentacles. King of Wands. Yeah. This Queen of Pentacles was trying to hold on to your person because of money and because of basically sex. Because your person was confident. You know, he wasn't a, a pushover, so there wasn't too many people that can get over on this person. Um, but that's pretty much why, for money and sex. And basically, for your person to be their bodyguard. <clears throat> Queen of Pentacles, King of Wands. Yeah, Will of Fortune. Mm hmm. Yeah. These people could have possibly made a lot of money together. Um, but at the end of the day, when it comes to this person, you know, trying to hold on to both you and your person, whether it be physically or just, you know, your energy or whatever this person is holding on to. I feel as though you, you, you're you going to free yourself from this person. And I feel as though the, the will of fortune is going to turn in, you know, your favor. But at the same time, both of these people, your, your, your masculine or your feminine, take it how it resonates. And the third party person, they're going through karma. Queen of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, they're going, the, especially this Queen of Pentacles. This Queen of Pentacles wants to, you know, wants to, wants, you know, the, the will to turn in her favor so that, you know, she can, you know, move forward. Six of Swords. Yeah, not a pentacles. Yeah, but it's not. It, it's not gonna happen. I feel as though because you did put your sword down and you didn't, you know, entertain this Queen of Pentacles energy. I feel like that you're getting good karma and you're going to be able to move forward. And there is going to be some type of offer coming towards your way. It could be in the form of money. I don't really know at this time, but we will find out. Three of Wands, Five of Wands. Yeah temperance so yeah while you know the toxic third party person was over there trying to you know compete with you cause conflict and fighting you were you know 
creating balance within yourself creating balance within your life and that's and that's pretty much what this person is mad about is because they can't do what you do they can't you know they just can't be you temperance and strength Yep, the sun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, while you over here happy, S loving on yourself, finishing out, you know, your self love tour all 2022. And this person is over here trying to compete, trying to cause conflict and fighting. Strength and Queen of Swords in reverse. Mm hmm. Yep. And so, because you put your sword down and you weren't about to entertain that negative toxic energy, and this person continued to watch you, um, you know, create balance in your life and be happy, even though they try to, you know, cause comp competition, conflict, and fighting, um, yeah, they're in the uh, Five of Cups energy. They feel like they missed an opportunity to get you. <laughs> Queen of Swords in reverse and Six of Wands. I mean, Six of Swords, excuse me. Yeah. Yeah. So because you did put your sword down, um, you're definitely getting ready to get some type of news. Some type of good news about, you know, moving forward. Um, because there is an offer that's coming. Six of Swords, Knight of Pentacles. Nine of Cups. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for one, these people, this this person did too much. For two, yeah, you're getting ready to be a get a some type of offer. You're getting ready to get some some good news about moving forward, and you're going to be getting some type of offer that is going to fulfill you know fulfill your wishes, and and most of it is you know emotional. Whatever this is. Temperance and the sun. Mm -hmm. King of Cups in the reverse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because whoever this third party person is, you know, they watched you continue to create balance and continue to be happy even though they were trying to basically burden you down to the point to where you lose everything. Mm -hmm. This person didn't want you to love yourself. They didn't want you to, you know, uh, love, you know, your person. They didn't want your person to love you. The fact of the matter is, um, when this person really saw that they were no competition to you, that you were still moving forward regardless of what they were doing to you, they lost love for themselves, you know. And the problem is, this person never loved themselves. So, you know, that's the re one of the reasons why they try to come against you is because they don't know how to love themselves and they see that, that all you do is love yourself. Well, not all you do, but, you know, one of the most important things in your life is to love on yourself and be happy. But this person ain't happy. Five of Cups, Page of Wands. Yeah, Spirit said that's the truth. And, you know, basically the message that you're going to get, the good news is you're going to get is the truth. And you're going to be able to move forward with whatever offer that is coming your way. And it's going to, again, fulfill, you know, your wishes. King of Cups in the reverse, Ace of Swords. Mm -hmm. Two of Wands. So this might be your person, you know, that basically wasn't confident, didn't love themselves. But I feel like it's it's the third party person. But they're at a crossroads and they're planning. They're planning, plotting and planning. But the truth is going to come out about something. Let's see what the truth what was coming out. King of Swords. I mean, excuse me, Ace of Swords and Nine of Cups. Yeah, I can't make it up. Justice. 
So there can be some legal issues going on uh with you with your person or with this third party person but the truth is yeah there's something happening in the justice system or something's going to happen because the yeah plan yeah planning to reveal the truth to the justice system or the truth is going to be revealed about a just a uh, uh, legal situation and it who, whatever happened, this person literally did too much, but um, somebody's wishes are going to be fulfilled once this truth is out concerning this legal situation. Alright, Virgo. <clears throat> Let's clear this canvas because now I'm really, really want to know what's going on with this justice system or whatever this situation is so let's dig a little deeper I don't want to make the, the video too long but I want you guys to get you know whatever it is that you need so ooh, let's get some kipper Let's do it. Spirit, what else does the Virgos need to know about this situation? Mm, thief. Courtship. Great fortune. imprisonment all right we want clarity here we go <laughs> i said i wanted clarity about the, the legal situation the justice situation so here we go so i feel as though whoever this third party person is they feel like that you stole their relationship from them But I, and I feel as though they feel like that, you know, you owe them something financially because I feel like that they feel like that you messed up their marriage with this main male. But whoever this main male is, I feel it's probably your person. They are imprisoned. And when this imprisoned card for me, it's not no mental lit lock up. It's not no, it's physically locked up. So whoever this is, they are physically locked up and they were married. Yeah, King and Queen and Pinnacle. So they were married to, you know, the third party person. And it could have been for money. And the fact of the matter is, they really wanted to be with you. But at the end of the day, the third party person is probably trying to steal your person back. But let's see. Spirit, why is the thief here? Yep, Ace of Pentacles can't make it up. So, ooh, yeah, and Ten of Cups. So yeah, like I said at the beginning, um, whoever this third party person is, they feel as though that you're stealing their family from them, and could possibly be their money, or they could feel like that you owe them some money. Why well, is courtship here, Spirit?
There we go. Wise courtship here, spirit. Mm, Ace of Wands. Mm hmm. Courtship. Mm. Eight of Wands. Oh, okay. So yeah, when it comes to, you know, this Ace of Pentacles, I feel like that someone did steal some type of money. Or or the third party person is wanting to steal some money for, um and, you know, your per your person back. Is what I've yeah. They want a new beginning, but your person wants to, you know, a uh, uh family situation and a new beginning with you they want to communicate with you about some type of money situation we do have ace of pentacles out here so maybe um you know the the third party person is trying to say that uh your person is stealing money maybe that's why they got locked up i don't know but we'll keep going <clears throat> great fortune the fool great fortune Page of Pentacles. Hmm. Hold on, y'all. Want to make sure that all the cards are seen. Because I don't need nobody in the comments talking about, we can't see the cards. How we know what you're saying is true? Well, if you don't have a spiritual gift to be able to do what you know I'm doing then you won't be able to know if it's true or not <laughs> hello but anyway mm -hmm. so yeah your person is taking a leap of faith to get some type of great fortune yeah and there comes the offer page of pinnacles so yeah they're gonna come and offer you you know something small but they do want to you know come take a leap of faith to be able to present this offer to you and it is in the form of money all right y'all I'm sorry I gotta make sure that y'all can see the cards really all right why is a marriage here? Mm, three of Cups. Can't make it up. Yeah, so that's the person that your person is married to. That Queen of Pentacles. Marriage. Knight of Swords. Ooh. Yeah. This third party is pissed off. But it could be your person that's pissed off. Because for some of you, your person is locked up. Let's see. Imprisonment. Mm. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, so what I'm getting now is that, yeah, this person, whoever this third party person is, let me, hold on, y'all. Imprisonment. Queen of Swords. Let me put the camera down just a smidge. So I can try to scoot these over just a smidge. Okay. okay. Main mail. Yeah, justice. Mm -hmm. Main mail.
Judgment. Two of them came out, so I'm gonna take it. And then Four of Wands. Let's put that right there for now. So yeah. For some of you, this third party person does feel like that you stole, you know, their their family from them, which is, you know, their their stability. For others of you, this person tried to steal money um, from you and your family. They try, yeah, they try to stop you from progressing. Period. Financially, with your family, just a new beginning in life. Period, and in this relationship. But your person wants to communicate that you know they want to take a leap of faith to you know bring you some type of offer and it is in the form of money well they are married to this third party and the third party is pissed off because they have been through a lot you know with your person they were married but at the same time it was a karmic marriage but your person is also pissed off because this third party person is trying to basically destroy you and them And I feel as though you told you could have told your person that this third party person was going to get them involved in, you know, legal situations. I feel like you told your person that this person was going to get them in trouble with the law. And so your person is under judgment because they married this this person. Pretty much. Put another one on, please, please, Spirit. Page of Wands. So, some good news. And maybe they did try to steal from you. Maybe they try to steal your identity. Or something like that. Yeah, thank you, Spirit. Yeah, for some of you, they did. Because they wanted to be you. They are literally your copycat. Yeah, and then Six of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So, yeah, this is the past person in your person's life. Marriage, I mean courtship. Put another one on courtship, please, Spirit. Yep, King of Pentacles. I can't make it up. So, you're going to get some good news from your person. Great fortune. Great fortune. Mm. For some of you, when it comes to their finances, they've healed. That's the good news. Um, but for others of you, your person wants to come towards you again to offer you something financial, and they're just praying that you'll take it. They're praying. They're praying that you'll receive it. Because I feel like, you know, they're still stuck in this situation with this person. But they don't want this person. And I feel like this person is making it hard for them to exit the premises. And they're praying that, you know, you will allow them to come forward and, you know, bring this offer to you. Marriage. High Priestess. Yeah. Yeah. Imprisonment. Queen of Pentacles. Again. <laughs> but yeah. Um, I mean, you know who this person is. And I mean, you know that they're married. This King of Pentacles definitely went through a lot with this Queen of Pentacles. But you're going to get yeah some news about um, this third party as well. When it comes to this marriage, you probably already know. But it's whatever it is, it pissed this person off. So it could be a divorce. Page of Wands, King of Pentacles.
Yeah. I feel like it's something that you've been waiting for. Uh, whatever this news is or this information message or whatever, you've been waiting for it for a long time. King of Pentacles, Four of Swords. King of Pentacles, Four of Swords. Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, so whatever news or information that you've been waiting for for a long time from your person... I feel like that the will is going to turn in, in your favor. Um, and, I mean, your person is healed. The High Priestess, Queen of Pentacles. Priestess, Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, the world. Yeah, you know when it comes to this Queen of Pentacles, um, it's over. It's the end. Or your intuition is, is basically telling you that it's the end. Queen of Pentacles, Four of Wands. Ten of Wands in reverse. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, justice being served on this uh, on this situation. This Queen of Pentacles might be going to jail. Yeah, because she tried to project negativity. She tried to project something on you and your person. I feel like your person, she's going to get karma. And her karma is going to be going to jail. And that way she can't cause, you know... Burdens, distractions, and things when it comes to um, you moving forward with your person. Because I feel as though your person wants to marry you. The High Priestess in the world. King of Wands. Yep. You know your person is confident enough now to end this situation. Queen of Pentacles. Ten of Wands in reverse. And Four of Wands. Mm -hmm. Yeah, spirit is getting ready to create uh, some type of balance in this situation. The world, Queen of Pentacles. Yep, the ending of a relationship with this Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, and now your person is confident enough to um, have a relationship with you and, you know, create a balance in it. Two of Cups and Temperance. Yep. Ace of Swords, that's the truth. So yeah, now your person is confident enough to be in a relationship with you and tell you nothing but the truth, the whole truth, and you know, create help create balance when it comes to stability. Your person doesn't want to come in to cause any type of burdens and stress on you. They just want to come with the truth. But this Queen of Pentacles, it might be the end of her or him, you know, trying to put you through all this stuff. Uh, they're they're probably going to jail because of some truth that was spoken, possibly in the courthouse when it comes when when it comes to this masculine energy. So this masculine probably could have spoken some truth that this Queen of Pentacles didn't know about. All right, Virgo. We're going to get the outcome, and we're going to end the, the, the message. And I'm just clearing some of these cards out so that we can fully see the outcome.
Hold on just a sec. I'm almost done. I appreciate you guys so much. Um, I don't do this for money and things like that. So I just want to be a blessing to everyone, you know, that hits the play button on my videos. That's it. But I appreciate, you know, all the, the positive comments, all the, you know, positivity um, that I've received thus far. And I hope that, you know, as I continue to do this, that, you know, I continue to grow to be able to, you know, absorb more energies based off of the comments and things like that to be able to, you know, give more broader messages to, you know, the collective. All right. Yeah. The divine masculine definitely is walking away. Coming towards his true love. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. And he knows that you have your boundaries. He knows that you have expectations and standards. Yeah. But third party person's time is up. Spirit, what's the outcome of this thief? Release the relationship. So I feel as though um, the third party person wants you to release the relationship with your person, but your person is releasing the relationship with them because they're a thief. What else on this uh, thief spirit? What's the outcome? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The outcome is um, you and your person have a new beginning in love. That's the outcome. <laughs> Courtship spirit. Ooh. Flew out. Good news is coming when it comes to this uh, relationship. Courtship, good news is coming. The outcome. Feminine energy. Oh man. Oh man, oh man. Great fortune. Too many spirit. Great fortune. fell on the floor but go keep it so when it comes to this uh, great fortune the offer that you know your person wants to bring towards you um, their intentions are pure they want you to you know have the best of things um, you know they were just blinded they were manipulated they were just in this toxic marriage it's a karmic marriage they had to go through it to get to it you know What about this marriage spirit? What's the outcome? Mm. Well, three came out, so let's take them. So we got karmic lessons, karmic cycles. So yeah, this was just a, yeah, one of those types of marriages. Um, it, was it was filled with unrequited fake ass love for sure. But guess what? Divorce, separation, breakup. So that's the outcome of the marriage. What about this imprisonment spirit? What's the outcome? Bad physical health. So your person could be going through some bad physical health at this time. Imprisonment. Oh, uh, could be going through some anxiety and depression. Um, but maybe this isn't your person's energy imprisoned. Maybe it's the um, third party person. I don't know. But as far as the outcome of whoever's imprisoned, they're going to go through bad physical health. They're going to have anxiety and depression. 
main mail, the outcome. Keep falling on the floor, y'all. Main mail, the outcome, please, spirit. Well, your your masculine definitely has boundaries now. They have expectations and standards. <laughs> Over uh, outcome of the main mail. I was about to say overcome. So, yeah, he's definitely overcame a lot of things. Uh, outcome. Yeah, the outcome is that this third-party person is still going to try to disrupt your masculine's energy. What else do we need to know about this thief, please, spirit? Um, stuck in old ways, still want to cause conflicts, arguments, and fight, fights. Um, you know, they're not ready for what's getting ready to take place. It's going to be unexpected. I feel like it's, you know, the new beginning in love for you and your person and also the divorce, the separation, or the breakup. Um, they're having money issues and they bound themselves to a spell. That's the outcome of the thief. What about this courtship spirit? What else do we need to know? Ooh. Divine timing is at play. Family is involved. Anything else about this courtship? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um when it comes to this courtship, the outcome is you guys need to reject, you know, this toxic energy to protect yourselves from this reckless, dangerous third party person. Um, especially you, divine feminine, feminine energy. Great fortune. What else do we need to know about the great fortune spirit? Mm hmm. Karmic feminine. So, yeah. Um, the, the 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 third party person yeah she's definitely going to try to come after your money but it's going to backfire the tables are going to turn on her and i don't even really feel like it's your money it's your masculine's money but he's trying to give it to you so it's y'all money pretty much what about this marriage spirit is there anything else we need to know about this marriage i mean we pretty much know if, yeah five 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 yeah change competition conflict but the fact of the matter is there's a change what about this imprisonment spirit? What else do we need to know? Yeah. Yeah. Whoever this is, they are, you know, in the victim mentality. They're trying to guilt trip people. Um, they definitely are locked up in a jail, a prison, or a mental hospital. That is for sure. Um, and it's because they were focused all on the wrong things. Anything else we need to know about the main male spirit? Yeah, the per yeah the person from the past. Uh, uh, yeah, third party person. Um, they're definitely gossiping and lying about you know the masculine. They could be lying in court, <laughs> and yeah, your masculine could be scared of you know the unknown, scared of what's going to happen because this person is lying on them. But the fact of the matter is, like I said. They just this person just wants to be like you, nothing more, nothing less, y'all. And put a fork in it, it's done. So that's all I have for you all. I hope it resonated. If it did, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys soon. Sorry about my hand. <laughs>